right, what i'd like to do is show you guys how to solve a one step equation using the multiplication multiplication property of equality. and if you guys remember the multiplication property of equality, what that states is if you multiply one number on both sides, your equation is still going to remain the same. so what i've looked at is i've given you guys this problem x over 4 equals 9. and what we need to do is first of all we need to get our x by ourselves, right? so i'm going to go ahead and circle my x and that's going to remind me that i need to get this x by itself. And I gave an example, in a previous example, if I'm putting on my shoes, and my shoes are in that state of untied, and if I go ahead and tie them and then untie them, now my shoes are in the state of what? Untied, untied right? They're all untied. So I pretty much just undid my two operations, right? I tied them, and then I untied them. Well, now, if, my, if, I want my, if I want my state, if my original state of x is x, and I divide by x, to get it back to its original state of x, I'm going to have to do what? Well, I already have it divided, so now, so now I'm going to have to go ahead and multiply by 4. And the main important thing that I want you guys to understand is that when you divide and then when you multiply, those are kind of canceling each other out. So 4 divided by 4 is going to give you 1, or at least two operations cancel each other out, we like to say, and therefore you're left with x. So x is going to equal 9 times 4, which is 36. So one way, whenever you have a, a, a number on the bottom, you always got to think of you're going to want to multiply. And then you have to use the multiplication property of equality to make sure you multiply that 4 on both sides. Now, an equivalent way to write this equation is also in the form of 1 fourth x equals 9. And what they did is, because x times 1 is x, you could have the x over the 4. But what we did was we separated out the fraction. So here, a different way that I would explain this is this is 1 fourth times x. Now, a lot of times we say, all right, that, that could be the same as dividing by 1 fourth. And when we divide by 1 fourth, we have to go and um, you know, flip, the, flip it to get our reciprocal. So kind of a shortcut is if I multiply this by the reciprocal, I'm going to go and get 1 anyways. So if I multiply by the reciprocal on both sides, my reciprocal is going to give me 4 over 4, which we know is 1, which cancels out, correct? It gives me 4 over 4, x, which equals, I put this over 1, 9 times 4 is 36, right? 4 over 4 cancels out to 1, x equals 36. So there's two different ways to write this equation, and there's two different ways to look at it. So that's how you solve a one-step a one equation using the multiplication property of equality.